police when the man became violent. The deputy who responded was attacked, really attacked, and injured pretty badly when he responded. And the lawsuit claims that the attacker was on drugs. Joining me again is our legal team, attorney and former prosecutor Jeff Gold and defense attorney Danny Savalos. Okay, so f first off, what? Whoa. I mean, if I, all I can say is if you're calling 911, isn't that the only indication that there is a crisis? Here's Danny? what you need to know. When you're a landowner and someone comes on your property for a business purpose, like the, the pizza delivery guy, he's called an invitee, and you owe that person the highest degree of care. But there's an and exception. Safety. And, and safety. safety. You owe him a duty to inspect your premises, make them safe. Okay. But there's an exception when it comes to first responders, and Texas has what's called the firefighters rule that uh, contemplates that if you have an emergency, that's who you're calling, the emergency people, and it may not be safe. An exception to this, and we're seeing this change over time, we're seeing a sea change where we're holding homeowners liable where they did some affirmative act or made the place more dangerous. So for example, if I called because someone was having a heart attack, but I meant, left out the fact that I have a pet grizzly bear and the police come and I knew about that grizzly bear and it attacks the police, well, that's a pretty good reason for holding the firefighter rule inadequate and okay. holding the homeowner liable. So what you're telling me is there are degrees of what this woman may have done. There was no grizzly bear, Jeff Gold, on the premises, but there was a man apparently on bath salts and was very violent. I think this guy suffered like a broken nose, a concussion, lacerations and bruises, this this first responder, this, this officer. That's pretty serious stuff. And all she said was, Irrational. So does that rise to the standard of grizzly bear? No. No? <laughs> I'm going to say to daddy, legal mumbo jumbo. Oh. This is a cop. <laughs> I mean, he's do, supposed to be doing his, his duty there. This is outrageous that he would file this suit, frankly. I think that they ought to reconsider whether or not he is fit to be an officer if he's not ready to do the things necessary to walk into any situation to make sure that he and his comrades are safe. Ridiculous suit. But, but hold on a second. Again. She just said irrational. This was a guy who was yeah, super dangerous. So what? And irrational means he might be super dangerous. This is a cop we're talking about. Ridiculous suit. He ought to be ashamed hey, of himself. Hey, Jeff, how do you really feel? I'm kidding. <laughs> Hold that thought. <laughs> In fact, no, I actually do want to feel. First of all, as a former prosecutor and defense attorney, how can you not feel that there is some merit to this? i got to be honest. I feel there's no merit to this. No merit whatsoever. It's, it's almost unprecedented for her to do this. What a chilling effect on people to think if they call 911 on their crazy boyfriend or their crazy husband, they might get sued. Okay, so you know Horrible. What I, say? I Horrible. say that if this thing is successful, people are going to be worried. They're going to be worried about calling exactly 911. Right. They're going to be worried if they that call 911. That's what I'm worried about. They could be after. bankrupted. Yeah. Right. It's an emergency line. Line. Yeah, maybe that's exactly there. what I'm worried about. Safe. You know what? You guys are good. You guys are good at this. Well, thank you. Jeff Gold, very passionate about this. Danny Savellis, always nice to see you. Thank you both for being here. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for watching. It's been nice to have you with us. Uh, but that's it for my week. First week on the air. Thanks for being here. Around the World starts right now.